how to make good for you pasta bolognese. Can you believe that? Yes, pasta that is good for you. Now, if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. That way you'll get all the latest recipes for good for you comfort foods directly to your inbox. We will begin making our pasta with a zucchini. I'm going to chop off the two ends of the zucchini, just like this, and then meet my friend the spiralizer. This is a simple tool you can buy on Amazon.com. You don't even have to go look for it in the store. You'll put the zucchini right like this. And no, this is not based on a torture chamber, which actually someone suggested once. And you will do this. You will make your own pasta. How cool is that? This is so fun for kids to make. And if you think about it, how long does it take to boil pasta? Like 10 minutes. There is no boiling here. This is going to take us less than 30 seconds. Look at that. This big zucchini comes out as noodles. And we're going to make hot zucchini pasta. You can make it as a raw vegan dish if you'd like, and I can show you in another episode how to make it. But this one, look at that. Done. And I have a pan right here. Super simple. This is something that I make for myself. And uh, even my very picky stepfather, who doesn't really like healthy food, he eats this because it's good, it tastes good. And look at these noodles. Now, if you have kids, you can go ahead and peel this if your kids don't like to have green in their food. Or you can use a squash if you want a summer squash. But I'm going to go ahead and lightly saute my noodles for about one and a half minutes. So you're gonna do this for one and a half minutes and you'll see your noodles getting nice and soft. And now we're going to make the bolognese sauce. Super simple, are you ready for this? I have an organic tomato sauce and I'm gonna put it directly on my pasta because you know what, if you're busy, I get that. I used to be a busy businesswoman, always on the go. I didn't have time to make dinner. I needed things that were simple and easy to make, like taking a jar, opening it, and pouring the sauce right into my good for me pasta. Because who wants to sit with a food coma on the couch, not able to do anything after a work day and then waking up in the morning all tired and not at all refreshed, this pasta will give you energy. And now, another thing that I'm going to add to this comfort food pasta bolognese is the Beyond Meat. And you have many, many ways of using this meat. You have my recipe, there's a link below for the pizza to make with this meat. We are going to make our pasta sauce with this meat. And you have a link there for a healthy lasagna. Make everything. I'm gonna put it right here, right in my pan. Starts to steam up. And you'll see how much you'd like to add it. If you want more protein, then go ahead and add more. If you want less, then use less. And the reason why I like this particular brand, it's soy free, it's gluten free, and it gives you energy. It takes so little time to digest because it's all plant-based power. How awesome is that? And once the pasta is warmed up and to your liking, if you like it al dente, go ahead and take it off the stove. If you like it softer, go ahead and let it sit. But look at this. Ah, I'm making a mess. See, but you know what? You don't have to be all perfect. Life is not perfect. We just want things that are yummy, delicious, and good for us. If we love the food, we want the food to love us back. And I have this beautiful pasta that loves me back. I'm gonna put fresh basil. Super important to add fresh herbs. And then I'm going to use my favorite dairy-free diet cheese. Put it on top. Put the rest in here. Look at that. And I forgot a fork, so I'm just gonna go ahead and sample it just like this. Mmm. It's very good. Go ahead and try it for yourself. If you have any suggestions for recipes, put them in the comments below. And I'll be happy to make you something just for you. And until later, cheers to your health.